Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I literally, Mike and I literally just got back from the mall, picked up quite a few goods from Sephora during their Sephora VIB sale. Here is the flyer. I don't know if this will be, actually no, this will still be going. I, wow, I can't believe that the sale is going until April 15th. So this will still be going on when this video goes live. But if you missed my Sephora recommendations video, I will link that up here just in case you want to see it but today we are deep diving into the things that I actually purchased during the sale. Mike and I went to the mall it was a little impromptu but you know what I was looking at my Sephora cart and I had way too many lipsticks and if you know my kryptonite in terms of makeup it is definitely lipsticks. I think I bought like two but if you watched my Sephora recommendation sale I also featured quite a hefty wish list at the end of it. So today when we were at the mall, I thought it would be a good idea to actually go to the store and swatch the lipsticks because what happens with me and purchasing makeup on online, I will order a bunch of lipsticks, I will get them all and they will just be in front of me. And when there's a lipstick in front of me, I am just tempted to try it. And then once you try a lipstick, you can't return it. So I figured, let me go to the store. Let me swatch them on the back of my hand. Let me see the kind of formulations. And I'm going to give you guys a rundown of things that were in my cart, but I didn't necessarily buy. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't buy them. But most importantly, we're going to talk about the things that I did buy. So I hit quite a few categories here. I have hair, I have skincare, I have makeup, I have a makeup brush. So I am wearing a bit of makeup. I am test trying all of the makeup that I'm gonna be taking on my trips this upcoming spring. I did a little test run of products that I'm thinking about bringing with me. And honestly, I am like the queen, and I didn't really notice this, but I am the queen of 10 minute makeup. So if you are a girly or a guy who likes to do their makeup quickly. This literally took me 10 minutes. I've just been doing 10 minute makeup because I don't give myself enough time. I forgot why, why I even brought that up. But if you're new here, hey, hi, welcome. I tend to go off on tangents, forget the point of the tangents. We're a little crazy, we're a little chaotic, a little ADHD to be honest, but it is what it is. And I'm drinking water because Lord Jesus knows I don't need any more caffeine today. All right, let's hop into it because I plan for this to not be too long of a video, but I can already tell the mood that I'm in. Let's start off with my hair stuff. So my birthday gift, which I did not know this was a birthday gift. I decided to pick this up because with traveling and just like the spring summer, I find like once the warm weather hits, I just bop around with my husband and I just bop around from place to place. And I had the Jisoo, I don't know, that hair brand. Um, I had a set in my Sephora basket. So literally what I did is I went to Sephora, I pulled out my Sephora app and I just walked through the store. It was mayhem, it was crazy, it was insane. The amount of children in the store, don't get me started on it, but there were a lot of young people, young, young people, like very, very young in the store. But I just went through my basket and I just picked up all the products. I looked at some of the things, but anyway, I had that travel set from Jisoo. It was a hair travel set. And I just find like travel sets are good for when you're traveling, obviously, but they didn't have it. And then when I went to the counter, the woman was like, do you want your birthday gift? And this happened to be one of them. Moroccan oil. It has a hydrating shampoo, hydrating conditioner, little hand cream. Let's take it out, why don't we? That's nice, that's a nice size, a nice travel size. Again, love a travel size. This is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. Hair oil, which I'm gonna take all of these with me for sure. What I hate about this, honestly, is that there's no, there's no like pump. So I just feel like you get this everywhere for the hair oil, but it's a nice little travel size. Moving on to the things that I actually spent my money on, I bought the Kerastase Chroma Absolute. This is a kind of like hair treatment. It's like a hair mask. I use this as conditioner instead of conditioner. So I go in the shower, I wash my hair, and then I towel dry the ends of my hair and I throw this on and I leave it in for as long as possible. You then rinse it out. And I find like it really does help to make my hair look shiny. And if you know me, like I just, I live for a woman with shiny hair. Like I will see women with shiny hair and just be like, it's just so attractive to me. I want to have shiny hair. And this is the shiniest that my hair has been. Thanks to this product, I am running low. So I figured why not grab it during the sale because this is a pretty um, expensive item. And so I figured 
why not? I feel like we should bop into skincare, but I think I'm gonna go to makeup just because I could use a little touch up. I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, but we can always put more makeup on because I'm really not wearing that much. Let's hop into mascara. I finally got my hands on this. I was shocked that Sephora literally had everything in my basket aside from some of like the specialty gift sets being like the Jisoo one that I just mentioned. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So sorry if I'm not. They had everything else and I was shocked that they had the Lash Clash in Unhibited Brown. And I have never tried this mascara. So I'm a little excited. That is a really nice package. I It's light and I do like this packaging. It is nice, um, but it's kind of big. So I feel like this will take up quite a lot of space in my, oh, that's like actually brown though. I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be like a darker brown. This will take up space in my travel makeup thing, which I'm not really like, you know, but it's okay, whatever. I just also, this would be fun, especially because of the vibe of my makeup recently. I'm just going for less, like I just said. So I thought a brown mascara would be fun. I honestly don't really know if you can even tell that that's brown. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes cause I kind of just want to see what this does. I already know what I'm gonna say about this. It's not bad. It's just not Lancome Lash at all, which we all could have said that simultaneously on this, at the same time. Cause I feel like we all knew what I was gonna say. I'm not really like loving this brush either. Like, I feel like there's a lot of mascara on the brush, but it's not really catching onto my lashes. I like the color. You can definitely see, you could tell it's brown. Yeah, it's definitely brown. I just, I had a feeling that this was gonna happen, so I'm not even upset with the mascara. I'm kind of more upset with myself because I feel like I'm really picky when it comes to mascara. And I also find that when people rave and rant about a mascara, it tends to not be a mascara that I love, but I really do like the color. I just, I, I don't know. You see how like these lashes, they're wispier than these lashes. Like, I don't know why this set of lashes, like this eye, they just seem to like bunch up together more. I'm gonna use it cause I opened it and I will definitely bring it on our travels because I don't wanna waste it, but I don't know right now. It's not really like worth the hype for me, but we also know that I tend to change my mind a lot. So I could, this could end up being the greatest thing since sliced bread, but that is TBD because we all know I'm a little crazy. Um, moving on to more YSL. I bought a lot of YSL things today. Three, but that's a lot. When I was in the store, I was swatching all of the lipsticks on the back of my hand. I had a bunch of NARS lipsticks and Hourglass lipstick and an Armani lipstick. So I was swatching all of them and these just are, this formula is unreal. Real. And again, I feel bad because I trash talk them, but I got the two newer YSL lipsticks. So the new one is the YSL Love Shine. I purchased the shade 205. Let me tell you now, what's annoying about these is that I was in the YSL section and there were so many people in the YSL section and they were all swatching these lipsticks. I had them all in my cart and I was like, oh, I want the shade Nude. So I was looking for the shade Nude. They are referred to by their numbers, at least in the Sephora by me. So it's a little confusing. This is in shade 205. Now again, this is the newer one. I was told that this is more of like a lip oil. It's more hydrating than the original. It's 205 on here, but the name of it is Nude Self. So it only says 205 on here. So that's just a, like pick one and go with it, I think. Kind of brown. I felt like it would go really well with my hair. So I'm gonna swatch them first and then I'll put them on my lips. But again, this is in the shade 205. Got my hair did. I think I need different colors for my lips, trying out new things. I'm really just making excuses as to why I need more lipstick, really is what I'm doing. But then I also got Candy Lays, which this is the formula that I have, but they came out with a newer formula and this is the newer formula. This is in the shade five pink satisfaction. Glaze have a darker pink and then the lip oils have a lighter, a lighter pink shade. So these are more pigmented. At least this is what the woman in Sephora was telling me. More pigmented and closer to a lipstick than the other one I just swatched. Oh, oh yeah. And these like click. Why is this clicking? This didn't click. No, this is quiet. Oh, she's loud. Is that good? Candy Glaze 05. This is the updated version of what I have. My other ones don't click like that though. Can you see that? So I got a pink one and a more brown one. I'm gonna put the pink one on. 
Oh, this feels a little thicker. Let's do one on the top and one on the bottom. Oh, that is more pigmented. I'm sorry, the sun is going in and out, so the lighting is changing. Okay, I love that they're not as scented because y'all know the other ones, I say like my biggest gripe with them is the fact that they're so scented. They still have that scent, but they toned it down. So that is amazing. I don't, this is driving me nuts. Is that good? Let's put 205. The woman also told me that these are more popular. Oh uh, yeah, and that's like instantly slippier. Um, definitely two different color lips. I kind of like them both. I think formula wise, I like the OG one better. The candy glaze up top. Which one do you like better? I think I like the top one better. But let's like mix them together and see what they do together. Anyway, so I was in Sephora and I was swatching all of them on the back of my hand. The Armani one, it said online that it was hydrating, but it was very matte and like powdery. Let me change the lighting here. I was like, there's absolutely nothing hydrating about this. And I just, I think I'm just here for a hydrating shiny lip that I did not buy. And then I went and I swatched the NARS ones and I don't know, it just didn't feel as like juicy as these. And so I chalked it up to, I really don't need that many lipsticks. So if I just like really love one formula, let me just get the one formula. I like them together mixed better, I think. I think this is like the color that I was looking for and that's okay. So clearly I will use them both. Let's move on to some more makeup. I bought Rare Beauty for the first time and I, guys, I don't know about this because I went and you guys saw in my wish list, I wanted to try the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I got the shade Bright Side. I don't know. I put this on my hand and there was a wonderful woman working the counter at Rare Beauty. She was very nice. And honestly, she made me buy this because she was just, you know, I just, I'm a sucker for good salespeople. Like if they have a good time with me, I'm like, yes, take my money. So I bought this and then she convinced me to buy this because she actually applied a little bit to my face. And this brush felt like she was like putting it across my face. And I was like, oh my God, that brush is putting me to sleep. So I also bought the blush brush, but I'm gonna use it with this bronzer. Again, you don't need to use things as they are described. I could use this for both, but I really like the way that it laid down the bronzer. If I could get this damn thing off of it, that would be really helpful. Cause I'm pushing it the wrong way. All right, here's the brush. I like that it's like, I don't know, just the way she was like, yeah, it like grips really nicely. And then here is the crayon stick. Okay, so this kind of defeats the purpose. And I'm gonna be honest with you as I always am. Like I was like, I just want this to draw my face. So we'll draw my face now because I'm not going anywhere. And I do really wanna see what this looks like, but I drew it on the back of my hand and did she give me the right color. I think she gave me, okay. This is not the color that she put on my face. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I picked up Happy Soul and it was a lot more orange and I am so pale. This is like more of a contour color and I wanted more of a bronzer color. So I feel like she gave me the wrong one, but I feel like it might be a blessing in disguise because I'm not gonna lie to you. She put it on my face and it looks fine, but I was like, ooh, that's a little orange. So let's do what I was thinking of doing on this side. Take this little brush. It is really emollient. So I feel like it's gonna blend out really nicely. Yeah, that's more of a contour color for me. And I was looking for a bronzer color, but that's okay. Let's do one side like this. So this is what I was envisioning. Okay, just a little bit like so. This brush is really nice though. Oh yeah, this is a really nice brush. I like the feel of it. it feels very luxe. And I also like the way, <gasps> yeah. It just like, it really keeps the pencil like to where it's at. It doesn't like blur it out or like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you put something somewhere, you want it to stay that somewhere instead of like making a mess. Yeah, this is, I love this brush. Okay, so this is one half of my face with it on. And this is the other half, which I do have some on, but she put a more orangey tone on me. So, and I'm gonna show you how she put it on. So she picked it up from here, which is how I typically like things. I just find like it goes on better. It goes on more airbrushed. And it's kind of like when you pick something up with your brush from the product, it like blends it already. Like before it even touches your skin, you know, it's like blended into the brush. So it goes on more natural. 
so I get it. But I want to be like everybody else where I just sit at my vanity and draw on my face and it just, I don't even know what I'm saying, but like that, it's just something about that. It makes me feel like I'm doing it quicker. Even though, based on what I just said, I think picking it up from the brush makes everything quicker because it just blends it so much better. Okay, so I really like this. This is coming with me on my trips. Big fan of this. Um, and honestly, I'm glad she gave me the wrong color. I really think the other color was way too orange on me and I am way too pale. And I keep saying that I'm gonna self tan, but ask me when I'm gonna do that because it's just such a time commitment and I just hate self tanning. I don't think it's gonna happen for me. My lovely subscriber told me to buy this. And so I bought the mini size. I went and they only had the Jugunda size and it was like huge, but this is the Dr. Jar Chicka Pear. I have no idea if I'm, honestly, when I see this word, I want to say cicada, cicada pear. I don't know. Chicka pear tiger grass color correcting treatment. It's supposed to neutralize redness and protect skin, improve skin appearance to be vibrant and has an SPF 30. When she mentioned this to me, I immediately put it in my cart and I didn't realize that it has an SPF 30 until just now. So I'm very excited for that. Honestly, if you guys have been keeping up and watching my channel, you know, I've had dermatitis. I get very red around my mouth. I just feel like this will be good to throw over my skin when it's acting up, you know, like when I don't want to put makeup on, but I don't want my red mustache to be so fiery because she's a fiery bitch. It goes on your face green, but then it's supposed to neutralize. So it blends in with your skin. And then that green pigmentation is supposed to just get rid of the redness. And I'm not gonna try this today because I actually did put a little bit of concealer around my mouth. Not a lot though. I've been very, very conservative with the makeup that I've been putting around my mouth. But I will try this in an upcoming vlog. I'm very excited to use this. And I feel like this could be game changing. And so thank you so much for saving me from my fiery stash. I'm gonna get to go on vacation. I'm gonna get to go to Napa and I'm gonna get to wear makeup all thanks to you. And now this is like an extra back pocket, little something, something to have for the future when my mustache flares up. Guys, I hope that you know, I don't come on here and film these videos to just like talk at you. I want this to be like a beauty community. And I feel like I learn so much from you guys, especially like the few of you that comment on all my videos. I've learned so much. So I just want to talk. And honestly, my favorite part about creating and uploading these videos is talking to you guys and just like broadening my beauty knowledge just by chit chatting. Like I love all things beauty. I love just like upping my game and anything in life. Like I just like being a better version of me and I love learning about things that I love if that makes sense and I love beauty and I love talking to you guys it's just like a commonality that we can all discuss it's just like fun like it's makeup it's skincare you know we talk about deep things here and I love talking to you guys about you know grief and loss I really have learned a lot from a lot of you and most importantly I felt really seen in this healing journey of mine all that to say that I just really love you guys and I love our little chit chats and I appreciate you so so much so my skin thanks you I've talked about this so many times I have this in the huge Jugunda. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I have the huge one in the bathroom. I use this every night, especially when my skin is acting up. This is like Windex. Have you ever seen my big fat Greek wedding? You know, the, is it the mom that's, or the dad that like every time someone gets hurt, it's like put some Windex on it. Like that is me with this. I say put this on everything and anything. It will cure your problems. This and coffee can cure anything. I had a little travel guy. Honestly, I think he's over here. Let me show you. It's not even a travel guy. It's like a sample. The top of it is starting to come off. And you guys know, I, I the girl, this girl, she has places to go and people to see. So this is a sample that Kiehl's gave me a very long time ago. And I kept the bottle because you know, we love to reuse, recycle, repurpose here. It's just my vibe. I kept the bottle and I would just fill it with the same product from my bigger one that sits in my bathroom. So that when I go on vacation, I can bring it with me. And this is the only serum that I use on vacation. But now like, I don't know if you could see, but the top is like here. Can we zoom on this for a moment? A moment. This is like popping off. So the last few times that Mike and I have traveled, I have gone into my travel guy right here and it has been a disaster. So I've had to clean this out every time we land or get to wherever it is we're going there and back. So I just said, you know what? I've used this as much as I possibly can. It is now broken. So that's why I bought it. Very long story short, I'm so sorry. But that's why I bought it in a point, 0 0.5 size because I just thought, you know, this is 
legit. It's like a legit pump. It's not like a little plasticky guy that's gonna break and leak all over. I mean, it could still leak, but you know. This little baby, and he's so cute. And it has a little dropper, and now I'm gonna put him in here. So that's exciting. Love that for me. Oh, but I also have to go through this and get rid of some things because I also, I also, how many times am I gonna say I also? When I was getting my toiletry bag together, I noticed that I've had a lot of these cleansers for a really long time. I have the Tatcha Deep Cleanse, which I hate this. I don't, who is, who's being cleansed by this? I don't feel clean after I use this. I feel sticky, just my per personal opinion. But it honestly might be because my cleanser is so old. And also this I've had for so long too, and this irritates my skin a little bit. This is the Drunk Elephant Best Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser. When I was at Sephora, and you know, you wait in line forever because the store is always packed, and you walk around the damn cashier thing, and they have so many minis, I bought the Charlotte's Magic Hydration Revival Cleanser. It is a cream to foam to milk. Cream to foam to milk. It has hyaluronic acid, peptides, and biomimetic complex. It removes makeup, cleanses, hydrates, instantly reduces the look of pores, skin looks smoother. So I'm gonna take this with me because it's a little travel guy. We're gonna give this a go. That is very exciting. I'm gonna pop her right in here. I wanted to get the Super Goop every day. There was like an everyday option. I mentioned it in my wish list. They didn't have it though, so I ended up going with the All Day Glow SPF set. It has three different things so we have a little glow screen spf 40 which you guys know i love an spf 50 well i don't love an spf 50 but i use spf 50 but i feel like this will be good to just throw in a bag i'm not going to take this on vacay with me because i have an spf 50 right here and i want to finish this one but i just thought that this would be good to have always be prepared we love sunscreen here this was really the the main event that i was very excited for this is an spf glow stick spf 50 i don't know but i want to try it water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes i just feel like i'm lazy half the time so wherever we are i could just take this stick and rub it on my face. I don't know. I mean, you can't put this over makeup, but I think like, you know, once the summer comes and I'm on the beach, kind of just like a deodorant stick. I could put it on my forehead around here where I tend to get dark spots, discoloration. I don't know. So this was really the main event. Last but not least, you know, this is gonna make a mess, this damn little oil, but this is a glow oil. I love an oil. Like it'll make me look, my skin look nice and juicy while it has SPF 50. I feel like that's pretty good. So we got a 50, a 50 and a 40, and I just feel like these are good ooh, to just throw wherever it is you wanna throw them. And then I think last but not least, this was the last thing I bought, but I'm running out of collagen. I use number seven. I'm on the ass end. It's not collagen, it's retinol. I'm so sorry. I use number seven retinol. You can find it at the drugstore. I really do like it. I will link it down below. But I wanna try something different because retinol for my dry sensitive skin can sometimes be a little much. It could be a little aggressive. So I did my research and this is like a retinol alternative. So it's better for sensitive skin. It has collagen, vegan collagen. It's supposed to help firm, lift and smooth wrinkles, hyaluronic acid and reversitrol. It's for all skin types, face and neck, 98% saw firmer skin. This was a pricier little guy. I love the packaging. I love the, uh, the, I love the pink packaging. But that is it. What do we think about this little impromptu Sephora sale video? What did you buy during the sale? I would love to hear it. Are any of these things interesting? What do we think about the lipsticks? Again, I mean, I kind of like this little combo that I made. I'm gonna carry both of these big ass lipsticks around with me. I don't really know, although I wouldn't put it past me. I do really like this little color that I created, but let me know, have you tried the YSL lipsticks? What do you think about them? I don't know why. Again, I feel bad. I just feel bad that I like really hated them and now, I think I have five of them. So, you know, she goes from zero to 100 real quick. But like I said, I love to hear from you guys. So let me know what it is you have your eye on during the sale. What did you end up buying? What was in your cart that you took out of your cart? Like, was there a product that you investigated like I did and decided, no, no, poo poo, not into it? Oh, I also smelled that Laneige face mask, the nighttime firming, whatever mask. It was a little too scented for me. So I think I wanna actually like do my research and find something that is good for sensitive skin, which I will probably end up just buying something 
from Kiehl's again. But I love you guys so much. If you're not yet subscribed, watch some of my videos and if you and I vibe, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification next to it. This way you can hang out with me and all of the fun places that I am about to be. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for joining and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.